It's a really big responsibility being out there alone, but I'm excited to take on that next challenge. The United States Air Force has a motto, aim high, fly, fight, win. It's a motto they're bringing to California Aeronautical University students right here in Bakersfield with the hopes of pushing these future flyers to new heights. Um, so far we've been learning the basics of flight, um, actually getting to operate the planes, but also the physics and aerodynamics aspects of it in ground school, which is really exciting. That's Daisy Lee, a high school student heading into senior year and also aspiring to go into the field of aviation. She's one of the star students in the AIM High program and is doing exactly what the title says. My favorite part has to be the very first takeoff on our very first flight lesson because that was when everything culminated from ground school, you know, the aerodynamics and the physics principles. Um, it all just came alive at that moment and it was just so euphoric. <laughs> CAU is hosting the Air Force Flight Academy in three-week sessions, where they'll provide flight training to 72 participants. Some of the mentors with the program already know how it could change lives. Personally, I went through the program three years ago, and I was in the same shoes as these kids. Uh, I helped them throughout their flight training. I mentor them on what path, what career they want to go, whether that be airlines, here at CAU, come to CAU here, or join Air Force ROTC and become an Air Force aviator. These students are learning aviation safety, the fundamentals of weather, as well as taking field trips to professional air traffic control towers and nearby airports. The university is saying that any chance to get the younger generation interested in aviation is one they will take. When the Air Force brought this opportunity to us to get uh, younger individuals in planes and simulators, we definitely want to be a part of that because uh, there is a big need for aviators in this uh, industry right now, and anything we can do to help um, is great. The students are also flying five days a week in the university's aircrafts with the goal of logging 15 flight hours so they can complete their first solo flight, a milestone Daisy Lee is really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to my first solo flight because it's where everything we've learned finally comes together from doing the comms to what we learned about takeoff and traffic patterns and landings when they finally all I guess piece together and it's a really big responsibility being out there alone but I'm excited to take on that next challenge. Now there are just two more sessions in this collaboration between the Air Force and CAU. If you're interested in signing up, we'll have more information on our website, turn to 23com At CAU, I'm Ava Kirshner, 23ABC News, connecting you.